Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today I am making some washi tape and I'm just putting masking tape across this piece of plastic here. I have it also wrapped around a little um, cutting board, um, like self-healing cutting board and taped it down so then it's easier to handle. And this piece of plastic is just uh, so then my tape doesn't stick too much and I didn't want to get a ton of paint on my cutting board so this is a way to prevent that. So I'm just putting um, washi tape across and I don't need large pieces and I've needed a black and white uh, washi tape for a few pages that I really like to use. Um, sometimes I just would like to go with that, those colors. So um, when I'm in a pinch and I don't have any more washi tape that I made, because I usually make it, I don't usually buy it um, unless someone's given it to me, then I have um, usually homemade washi type tape. So um, whatever colors I decide that I need, I will do a few strips like this, um, like a page basically. This is the size of a probably regular page of paper. And I'll do different designs. I'll go along um, my strips and uh, do lots of different little techniques to have fun with it. And it looks so unique when you pull them apart. So this is how I start my washi tape when I've decided that I need some for a particular project. So for this particular one, I'm starting off with a base color, just a little bit here of um, white with gesso, and I'm using dollar store brand type of gesso, cheap gesso, that I actually found to be really good. So sometimes you can pick up some stuff at the pound shop, dollar store, and all that kind of stuff, and it actually works really great. So I bought a few more jars when I found out that this stuff worked. And uh, yeah, I'm just putting it all on the bottom, and then I'm going to start with a nice white palette because um, the tape's off white kind of cream color and I just go have fun with it. It makes it easier to smear the rest of my project on. Today I'm using for this part here a stencil. This stencil's from Duck Arts, one of my favorites. It's like a tire mark stencil. Don't know the name um, but I've had it out of the package forever and I can't remember the name. Um, but I really find this one really fun with stencil, um, with washi tape type stuff because it also it looks like washi tape when you stencil it right on your 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 work or like I'm doing here using it on washi tape so then I can just pull it off when I need it. It's kind of convenient for that. Um, I don't always have to pull out my stencil if I want a piece of stenciling. And now I have it on washi tape, so that's fun. Um, the black paint that I'm using is from Deck Art and it is probably like black tie. I usually use that one, um, works well for me. And I'm using a makeup brush just to dab it on. And here I am, done with that. Here I'm using my uh, thin liner, pen, um, fine liner. Um, sometimes it gets a little stuck in there, um, but I have a Deco Art Paint Metallic um, Black. It's dazzling black pearl, but I also add a little bit of liquid black as well from Deco Art just to water it down a bit. So it's like um, the liquid paint because I keep adding it as I'm using it. So it's kind of a mixture of the black and the um, metallic, the black pearl in there. And I'm just doing a little scribbly. So I want a few washi tape pieces to be a little scribbly and fun. The fun thing about this is that you can go along with any kind of design you want and through the strip. You don't have to do the whole thing one solid design, or you can. You just can splash paint, do stenciling all over and have fun with it and just take it apart and it looks totally different than obviously when it's taped on there. So now I had, um, I, th I think I inked up a bunch of stuff on there, but I forgot to show that or have to turn on my machine, my um, um, computer. 
but now I'm stenciling anyways yeah it looks like I was just rubbing some stuff on there paint dry dry brushing whatever I don't know and doing a little bit of a thin liner fine liner now I'm using some stencils this is another stencil from deco art and it is stars and I thought it would look really nice to put some I think this is the stars yep put some stars down in that white clear area that I left open and uh, using my um, archival ink which really works good when you're working with wet because it doesn't smear around too much it's not showing too well but hey I'm having fun anyways with it and it'll show a little bit and it's, that's a little part of mixed media it doesn't always show a lot but uh, little pieces pop up here and there Now I've decided to splatter some paint, again, a fluid acrylic black, um, it's decor as well, and it's the, the fluid acrylic, so it's really watery, and I'm just using that to spackle some paint on there to get it going, to get a different look. So I'm going to see, I'm going to, kind of going in layers just to get different looks, see what I like to use on my projects, smacking it. This is the best way to get it to come out. Get smacking it with another brush. <laughs> trying to use my fingers just gets my fingers all dirty and um, I kind of like that look it looks really cool I, sometimes when I get doing this I get carried away I do it on projects too I love it I'm now I'm using the star again and the white with my makeup brush star uh, stencil from Deco Art and going on that darker um, pieces there that I have and that's going to look really cool for some washi tape some washi type of tape it's not real washi of course because it's handmade but this is what you get and I think it's more impressive to use for me um, I know some of the designs are really cool and if you can get them at a good price that's awesome but I, I don't mind making my own it's kind of fun that gives me another thing to do Here I'm just throwing in a little bit of stamped words. Um, the stamp I have is I love art and I just thought I'd do a few strips like that and stamp it on with archival ink. Um, the word I love art. I don't know what I'm going to put all of them on. I had an idea what I was going to put some of the little tire racy stripe type things um, on but the rest of it I'm just going to have in my stash for me to use. So I decided just to use different stamps and that kind of thing on there. You can use um, just leftover things like straws, um, toilet paper rolls, just to stamp little circles. Uh, all to, you don't have to use regular stamps, but you can use anything for for this this project because it's just random and it turns out to be really cool at the end.
So here I'm just spraying on some spray and it is sealer from Deco Art and it's archival or acrylic sealer finish and this one's gloss because I want to have a little bit of a shine on this particular tape. So I did that to have a little bit of a gloss and not have such a flat tape. And that's it and this is what it looks like. Now I'm just going to pull them apart and uh, show you guys a strip or two and then you guys get to see kind of like this is what it looks like on its own so it's pretty cool it's pretty unique and now you just can do this and uh, in any colors that you know or you're thinking that you're gonna need for your project isn't that pretty cool and that is it my friends I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, yeah check out my other videos I'm gonna try to uh, post a couple times a week here and there's my stripe. This one's my favorite, my little racing tire stripe. This is my favorite one. I think I could do a whole page. Thanks, guys, for watching. Bye-bye now.